go and put it back on your 3R John Deere tractor. Come on over and we'll kind of go through some of the steps. Uh, we've, I've already done a couple preliminary things. Uh, the first one uh, is I've actually taken the transport pin out and I lowered the boom of the backhoe and put it in the removal hole. So bring the boom back up. This hole would be used for the transport uh, pin and keep the backhoe up. And then the second thing I've done is I've actually leveled the stabilizer arms to where they're about perfectly horizontal. Because uh, what's going to happen is this machine is going to sit completely on the ground when we're all said and done. Uh, so go ahead and come on over here. I want to go cover a couple things. This particular backhoe uses a three-point hitch to actually put the backhoe up on the subframe. The three-point hitch does not support the backhoe during use, uh, but it's just used to remove and, and uh, hook the back up. So come on over here, I want to show you a couple things. Uh, there's several hoses, hydraulic hoses going on here. Uh, the first one, as it stands right now, the backhoe would operate if you start the tractor up. Three-point hitch will not operate until we uh, unhook some of these hoses and actually uh, hook the tractor supply back up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. <clears throat> it's always good to have a rag handy. As you can see, we've got a little extra oil drip in there. You're always going to have that. And it's important to keep these clean. Um, got protective caps on these other ends here, so I'm going to go ahead and put those on so we don't have dirt getting in there. All right, and probably the best thing to do around these hoses here. Make sure you get these backhoe hoses up and out of the way, and I'll come back to that here in a minute. Matter of fact, I'm going to come on around here with this one. Just make sure they're kind of clear out of the way. We don't want anything getting pinched. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice there is a male fitting here that we do not use at this time with. Uh, it's only used with the backhoe, but it is extremely important before you start the tractor back up that you plug this back in for one or two reasons. One, this is a continuous flow hydraulic circuit, and if you start the tractor back up and leave this hose unplugged, and if you went long enough, it would could potentially burn your pump up. So we don't want any of that to happen. We have to plug this back in to complete the circuit. Number two, if this isn't plugged back in, my three-point hitch is not even going to physically operate. So now that it's plugged back in, the backhoe will not work, but the three-point hitch will not operate. So from here on, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start the tractor back up and uh, come bring the camera back over here just real quickly. Your two mounting pins that are going to be removed are going to be right here, and the other one's at the same location over here on the other side. So I'm going to fire the tractor back up now, and we'll do that. Up and takes 